The reason I came down to the Amazon was to better understand the Barcelos fishery, which is often held up as a very sustainable fishery. Um, and I wanted to see firsthand um, how the fishery operated, um, how the fish were cared for in transport, and, and whether it is genuinely a sustainable fishery. And from what I understand with the scientists on this trip, is that this is a sustainable fishery. It does have the capacity. There are so many cardinal tetras in this area that the take historically from the area hasn't actually damaged the stocks of fish. Fish that might otherwise anyway die when the water levels recede to a certain point, either through predation or drought. Trade in itself can be beneficial to the wider environment, providing jobs in some very low income communities in some very poor parts of the world. Jobs that actually are very low impact in terms of the carbon footprint on the local environment. Jobs that if weren't there may lead those local communities to taking up other potentially more destructive occupations. It could be logging, it could be agriculture. These are much more damaging activities and the sort of activities that we all would prefer to avoid. So having a sustainable fishery where they can catch fish on a regular basis and where they can sell it into a market but also has those wider benefits in terms of protecting the, the natural environment in a very sensitive part of the world. And I would certainly encourage people to learn a little bit more about the Barcelos fisheries and about other fisheries globally. There are many sustainable wild caught fisheries around the world which, because of those fisheries, the habitats surrounding the fisheries have been maintained in a condition that they would not have otherwise. There are coral reefs that are only there because there's a fishery there. The likelihood is they would have been used for a resource for cement production if it were not for the value of the fishery there. These fisheries are extremely low impact on the environment and as an industry where there is a negative impact on the environment, we will do what we can to get rid of that impact.